What's going on guys? Welcome back. Anthony Church here once again. Uh, this is episode number two of Inspired Stories here with Proven Knowledge. Um, last month I did an artist, Big Sean obviously. So this month I decided to highlight a producer that has, you know, inspired me before and continues to inspire me on my journey. And I chose DJ Dahi this month. Now Dahi is kind of someone that um, in my opinion has been kind of overlooked as far as like top-notch um, music makers and producers go. He's worked with Madonna, he's worked with Pusha T, he's worked with Big Sean, he's worked with Vince Staples, so many other people I can't even name them. Uh, his diversity is just amazing. I'm not really going to give you a whole, you know, history lesson about him because that's not what, you know, the purpose of this particular segment is. But I'll just give you like my um, experience with his music. So I think I discovered him mostly through Vince Staples' debut album, Summertime 06. And I believe it was him and No ID that kind of crafted the majority of that whole album. And like straight from the first couple songs, like I think there's a short intro and then it goes into the song Lift Me Up, which is like what got me into Vince Staples' music. And that was a No ID and DJ Dahi like produce that beat and everything and it was just very gritty and like different and it incorporated a lot of different sounds and things like that um and I remember like uh once I discovered that that he was behind that I kind of went back a little bit and just 2015 alone like he did songs for Lupe he did songs for Big Sean's album he did songs for Wale's album which were all like three of my favorite albums so I just remember being like a huge fan at that point and just started kind of like following him on social media and checking out his stuff and everything um and then a funny story about a song that Dahi made was um 2016 I remember being at lunch in high school and me and my one friend um we talked about you know, would Pusha T ever do a song with Jay-Z? And we said, you know, how has this not been done yet? Like, they're both like, they both have a similar rap style. Um, they both came up kind of around the same time and everything. And it just made sense. So we, we were like, man, why is like, why is there not a Pusha T and Jay-Z record out there? And so literally like probably a couple weeks after we did, we had that conversation, um, it ended up, being so that Pusha T was putting out a song with Jay-Z, the Drug Dealer's Anonymous song, and it was a Dahi produced song, and that was the song that kind of like, um, I think put Dahi more in the light of a lot, especially for the hip hop community, put him in the light of like, he's, you know, being taken a lot more serious at that point. Um, and so that was like a huge song, and I was like a big, that's when I became like a super fan of his, cause, uh, those are like two of my favorite rappers so for him to produce a song for those two and it was like the first collab that they ever had I thought that was amazing um, so from there I mean Doc he's like I said he's worked with a ton of people it's kind of interesting the last few years um, I'm always on the lookout for like his credits and everything uh, his credits kind of come up here and there I think since then he's done some schoolboy Q stuff on his last album the crash test album um, obviously Kendrick's Damn was a huge thing for him. He did a lot of those songs um, on that album. I think Loyalty was a part of and XXX and a few others that were, you know, obviously very well um, received and everything. And obviously Money Trees by Kendrick was kind of how he got his, you know, first big like placement to begin with. So obviously his relationship with Kendrick is pretty dope. For me, like, I've always put Dahi in near my top five, if not my top five of producers, because I'm a huge fan of producers that can do a lot of different things and kind of dip into a lot of different genres. And he's one of those that he's very inspired, I think, by EDM. And like he's into like the build ups and the drops and everything. Like he has a he has a song that he put out, I think, in like 2012 or it might have been actually later than that called drop it was actually called drop and it was more like an edm song just an instrumental and everything um so i've always loved just his style and everything he has such a unique style and um 
his sound doesn't always get like pinpointed like precisely as far as like you know like what he worked on but um i'm always like happy to see his name pop up and i think he's working on an album that he's been trying to craft for the last few years uh that's gonna have like a lot of those artists featured on it and he's gonna be the, like the main producer on the full project so i'm looking forward to that for sure um but yeah like dahi to me i've always enjoyed watching him just kind of evolve his sound and everything and he seems like he's always an open person to helping other producers too and just kind of giving his information where he can and everything so yeah i mean if you never heard of him uh it's dj dahi d-a-h-i uh you'll see the, how the name's spelled out as well sometimes he just goes by dahi other times he goes by dj dahi i think he used to dj starting in like college and high school and stuff i don't know how much DJing he does these days especially now with like the pandemic and everything but I really got into him as a producer and what he's done there so if you haven't you know heard any of his music go look it up if you look up his credits you'll be like wow I didn't know he produced this this and this because like it's a lot of big songs honestly so by a lot of big artists so that was episode two of inspired stories um we'll be back next month I have another artist for you gotta figure out who that is but until next time, thanks for watching, we'll see you then.